everyone, I'm Connie Roberts. And I'm George Roberts. Welcome to Pocono Mountains Today TV show where it's the month of September and the kids are in school but there's still lots to do. That's right, let's take a look. Hi everyone, I'm Connie Roberts and I'm joined with Tom and Christine Wilkins and we're here at Wilkins and Associates. Tom, there's a lot of history, celebration going on here. Let's yes. tell everyone about it. Uh, we're celebrating our 35th uh, anniversary of being in business. We started in Mount Pocono with three people and then brought our corporate office down to Stroudsburg years ago, uh, to tell you the truth. And then 15 years, we're also celebrating a second anniversary, and that's with Better Home and Gardens Real Estate, Wilkins and Associates. And we were the first real estate company to join Better Home and Gardens Real Estate. Wow, that, that helped change with the technology. Oh, without a doubt, the, the real estate market, the Pocono real estate market, and the real estate market in general, uh, technology has just taken over the entire business like that. Everything is done online at this particular junction, from your listing agreements to the agreements of sale and such. We got rid of all the filing cabinets. Everything is available via our cell phone. The only thing different with that change is agents don't come into the office as much because they have that technology available to them wherever they are. So we literally went from 14 offices down to one because all the agents can do all their business on the phone when we have our sales meetings. Uh, some are with us on Zoom, others are with us in person. So it did change the Pocono real estate market. So you have a lot of businesses under one umbrella. Let me preface that by saying we love what we do and we do what we love. So we do have other businesses. We have NEPA Management Associates where we handle a lot of uh, the associations in the Poconos, uh, Carbon County, Lehigh County, Pike County and such, as well as long-term rentals, which is what we call mm -hmm. them, where we manage those and then rent them out through Better Home and Gardens Real Estate and manage them through NEPA management. Christine, I understand the rental market is changing here in the Poconos. Can you explain that a little bit more? Yes, especially the rental market has gone through a lot of changes in the last few years. You know, during the pandemic when people were making emotional moves, um, a lot of people from the cities moved to our area, um, which took up a lot of our long-term rentals. And then other uh, people saw opportunities in investing into short-term rentals and the Airbnb market. Well, now that the pandemic is behind us and people are getting back to their normal course of business, um, we're starting to see a lot of those Airbnb homes make their natural progress of coming back on the market first as a long-term rental uh, because the Airbnb market is looking for uh, stable income. They don't have to pay the electric, the cable, the phone as they would as an Airbnb. So they're finding um, a better investment that way. And many of them have started putting their homes back on the market for sale as they get back to the regular life in the city areas. Christine, I know you're involved with local government as well. Uh, yes, I currently serve as chairwoman of the board for Stroud Township. I started off there uh, serving the zoning hearing board, also the planning commission, and then I was appointed, then elected uh, to the board of supervisors. And I really enjoyed that because I've really found that between local government and being in real estate serve hand in hand because they serve with your land uses, um, how property is being developed, your open space. And we have a pulse on what's happening in the real estate market to bring back to local government right. to say, hey, this is what you can kind of forecast coming through in the future. If people want more information of all the things that you do, <laughs> what should we tell them? Uh, you can reach us at 570-421-8950. And you can view us online at bhgwilkins.com. Join me now on the program is John Tuey. We're here with R.J. Groner. Great to have you on the program as always, John, as we talk about heating, cooling, and plumbing. Emergencies happen in the Poconos. You can't get around it. And I know you guys are always ready for it. One of the big things that we get asked all the time, what happens when I have an emergency? Who do I call? If it's something with your plumbing, with your heating, with your air conditioning, who can you rely on after hours, not during normal business hours, but who's going to come to you at night and on weekends? Well, I got an answer for you, George. It's actually us. Heating problems can happen any time of day or night, and sometimes cooling problems too. And you guys are ready for that. That's correct, George. As you can see from behind me here, we roll out in fully stocked trucks. 
set up basically to handle about 90% of the emergencies that come across the board, uh, you know, at night and on weekends and when it's just off times like that. Maintenance goes a long way though, John, to keep from having an emergency. The whole design of maintenance is preventative. It's to stop those emergency problems from happening. 80% of the emergencies that we run to are usually related to lack of maintenance. Let's talk about water and well pumps. Here in the Poconos, a lot of homes have wells and pumps can fail. Mm -hmm. So George, one of the biggest surprises a lot of new homeowners get when they move to the Poconos, they come from maybe a city background where the water is supplied or more of a suburban area. Then they find out all of a sudden they're their own water source. And well pumps don't last, George. Average life expectancy, somewhere around five to 10 years, depending on conditions, depending on the weather, lightning strikes, there are many things that can happen to put that well pump out. One of the good things for those people, give us a call when you got a problem. Fully stocked, ready to get that pump replaced, get your water back up and running. John, let's talk about the 24 seven emergency service. You have a live person that actually answers the phone. Absolutely, George. One of the most important things you need when you have an emergency is somebody who's on the other side of the line who can empathize and understand what's going on. We found for our customers in the Poconos, having that live person 24 seven gives them that peace of mind and potentially walks them through something they can do immediately before anybody gets there to mitigate the problem. And let's talk about the technicians that you send out to solve these problems. They're certified and they're also people that live here. We spend a lot on our technicians for training and certifications. We want the best. We have the best and we want our customers to experience the best. All of our technicians live in the communities they serve. They're your friends, your neighbors. They're people that you know. You see the trucks drive by all the time. They're gonna be there to help you and they're gonna understand and they're gonna empathize with you about your problem to get it resolved and get it resolved quickly. People have an emergency or they just wanna find out more about RJ Groner. How do they do that? Many different ways, George. Find us on Facebook. Find us at RJ Groner on the website. That's RJ Groner, G-R-O-N-E-R.com. Give us a call, 570-421-7260. Text us email us many ways to get in touch with us right through our website live person on the other side to answer on the website when you have an emergency someone's going to be there to answer for you and somebody's going to be out there to take care of it for you hi everyone we're here at kinsley shop right located in broadheadsville where that's the largest shop right in the world and joining me is legendary kevin kern kevin i know that this month of september you have a program with partners in caring let's tell everyone what that's about that's right the month of september is our partners in caring, is our food drive. We fight hunger uh, by having folks come in uh, and buy General Mills products, all right, during certain weeks, and uh, that will help accumulate some revenue for our food banks in the area here. Uh, also, there's other ways to raise money. When you're at checkout at the registers, people make donations there also. They have different amounts that you could go ahead and and purchase and make a donation. So Kevin, tell us about Fight Against Cancer Day. 5% of the total revenue for the day will go to fight cancer. So come on in, mark the day down, enjoy some of these deals that we have. We, we've lowered some prices on some wonderful products that you guys enjoy already. Okay, so it's the fall time of year where everyone likes to cook wings and sausage and... We have some wonderful wings here out at the shop right at Broadheadsville. You know, you get approximately like 30 wings and a half a tray. Uh, you can get different sauces. Uh, I prefer myself, when I do this, I get the sauce on the side so my wings stay crispy and you go ahead and sauce them up at the point of use. And that way you can have like a wing bar and that's real popular nowadays. People are really doing that a lot. Kevin, tell us about the new items at Mr. K's Smokehouse. That's an in-store smoker that we have, all right? And we go ahead and we make some beef jerky we have some different flavors of meat beef sticks here, and they make pork sticks too. Um, this is an interesting one right here. We have apple cinnamon bacon, all right, <laughs> and pumpkin spice bacon. I think that's a first, I've never I, heard of that. I had to bring these up and show this to you guys so you can enjoy it too. We're reasonably priced at six or seven dollars. All right, we also have some smoked cheeses that we smoke right here, and our famous ring bologna, it's very popular. So if you're looking for something different, you know, to add to your tailgate or just spice up the party, make it a little bit different. These things here, this is a great collective group of items that you could use. Kev, this smells good. <laughs> so what we have here is Kinsley's own homemade sausage. We have a sweet Italian sausage and we have a hot Italian sausage. It does smell great, Connie, let's try it. <laughs> okay. So here, let me put some of these on your plate there and you can try them. Okay. All right, so this is Kinsley's own hot Italian sausage. 
this is really flavorful. Yeah. It's not like hot, hot. And it's reasonably priced. Until you discover how good ours is, you, you'll, you'll wow. buy it all the time once you come in. I can see why. I gotta have another bite. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, if people want more information, what should we do? I'll have them call me down here at Kinsley ShopRite of Broadsville at 570-402-2740. Hit me up on the um, Order Express app, or just come on down and see me. I'll buy you a cup of coffee. Come on in, say hello, I'll show you around. Coming up next, how to prepare for the loss of a loved one. Plus, it's time to pick up the Poconos. Community. It's where we work. It's where we play. It's where you'll find First Northern Bank and Trust, offering community banking services. First Northern Bank and Trust is a family-owned and operated bank. Our local decision makers offer fast approvals and customized financial solutions. Plus, we keep your money right here in the community, stimulating local economic growth and providing jobs for our friends and neighbors. First Northern Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Need a place for all your things? Kramer Sheds has a storage solution for every need. Sheds of all shapes and sizes, two and one car garages, two story buildings, and more. Enhance the value and appearance of your home with locally handcrafted structures for storing pool supplies, lawn furniture, gardening, and landscaping tools. Every structure includes the best warranty that the industry has to offer. We deliver and install on site, rent to own financing. Stop by Kramer Sheds in Tannersville or see our inventory online at kramersheds.com. Now on the program is Tom Yannick with Yannick Funeral and Cremation Services here in Mount Pocono. Tom, great to have you on the program. Oh, thanks, George. Thanks for having me today. You know, as always, people are procrastinators and they wait till the last minute to do things, especially with funerals. And uh, I know it's a good idea to really work on a pre-arrangement for funeral services. Why is that? Uh, George, it's a good idea to get that information down on paper. Sometimes folks like to go ahead and set aside the cost for, for funeral services and cremation services. Um, it's just a, less of a situation when someone does pass away. It's much easier for their family to get through that process. Okay. Some people have questions about whether it's a good idea to even have a funeral service. But as you've told me before, it's something that every person really needs. Correct. It's a part of the closure. People seem to, to really do better when they have that time for folks to come pay their condolences. And this day and age, they're doing it in all different kinds of ways. Um, we see things at fire halls, churches, a lot of times the funeral home isn't even involved, but it's still a good idea to memorialize that person. People that are watching and are not familiar with Yannick Funeral and Cremation Services, tell us about what you offer here. So here at our funeral home, we offer cremation, which is di sometimes direct cremation, uh, cremation with a memorial service, uh, cremations with a viewing and a full funeral service, as well as traditional funerals. Uh, we also guide families when it comes to having off-site services, whether it's something at a local church or at a different venue like a restaurant, we could certainly assist you with that process as well. Um, once we're done here at the funeral home, we could provide you with the necessary stationery that you need. We can provide you with obituary information. We also work on death certificates, things like that, to make sure that everything is done just the way it should be for your loved one. For folks that want to have burial after cremation, uh, you can in fact bury those cremated remains. And a lot of times they're familiar with the cemetery and it still is the process and we still bury those remains in a cemetery. And you're a locally owned uh, facility here. Correct. We are the only locally owned facility here on the mountain. We've been here since 2015. Um, as you know, I'm also the Monroe County Coroner, so we've been around for quite a while now. Joining us now as a guest here at the funeral home is Michael Mancuso. He's the first assistant district attorney here at Monroe County and also a local attorney here in town. Michael, a lot of times people get themselves in trouble because they aren't organized before their death with their important papers and wills and things like that. It's important, isn't it? Oh, absolutely, George. And the word organized was one of the catchwords in my mind. Um, you have to have your personal effects organized. So you should collect them all. You should put them in a central location, um, preferably a lock box, something that may be fireproof. It doesn't have to be locked itself, but it should contain your um, up-to-date last will and testament, 
um, any power of attorney you might have, uh, stock certificates, IRAs, life insurance, all that kind of stuff. A, a nice list of your next of kin and contact information for them. So that's organization um, is one key phrase to keep in mind for this purpose. The other is make it accessible. Um, and you do that by keeping it together, yes, in a location where people can access it, but giving notice to people that you trust that that's where your documents will be. You mentioned wills. Uh, some people may not think it, they're important, but uh, they are. If you have um, assets that are going to pass through an estate, um, you have to have a will. If you're ill, you're not feeling well, um, maybe you, you have a bad diagnosis, something like that, and you want to make changes to your will, I urge you to get an attorney uh, to do that for you because uh, the fact that your will will be uh, written, they call it scrivened, by an attorney uh, gives it a higher status and it's very, very difficult to challenge the validity of a will like that as opposed to uh, handwriting something yourself, maybe asking a friend or two to come witness it. Michael, thank you very much. Appreciate Thanks, it. George. If people want more information about your services, how do they get it? They can certainly go to www.yannickfuneralhome.com or they can always give us a call at 570-839-8900. Hi everyone, I'm Connie Roberts and with me is Chris Barrett from the Pocono Mountains Visitors Bureau and it's that time again for Pick Up the Poconos. Let's tell everyone what the program is about. So Pick Up the Poconos is a volunteer pickup program that we partnered with PennDOT, our local municipalities, and some other folks uh, like Waste Management, the Waste Authority. Folks come together for one day in the morning, a Saturday 9.30 to 12.30 in September and pick assigned groups that they're given by the municipalities. And we've done this, I think, since 2018. Chris, where do the pickups occur? They could be occurring anywhere within the Pocono Mountains in our four county footprint, Carbon, Monroe, Wayne, and Pike. The municipalities uh, participate with us. There's an online sign up. So if you're living somewhere and wondering if your municipality participates, you can check it out at pickupthepoconos.com. It has all the information on the municipalities that are participating in the pickup. Okay. How do people get involved? Uh, they can sign up, and then they're given all the direction online as to where to go. And honestly, you can do it on your own, too. So if you can't make a specific day or you have a group of folks that want to do it, we supply all the materials. So we supply the bags, the pickers, the gloves, some clothing, and some gifts from us. And then you can pick up on that day, during that week, or really any time that you want to, but it's all at pickupthepoconos.com, and it's really a kind of repository of how we do it, um, what we've done in the past, what we're gonna do in the future. Who can actually participate and help? Anybody can, and we do have some restrictions for safety. So uh, if there's a group of Boy Scouts, say, we restrict it to areas that aren't high traffic, like it could be a park somewhere, a municipal park, uh, was in a borough, um, so really anybody else can. And it's one thing that everybody can do and they can contribute to. Chris, why do we need to keep the Poconos clean? That's really a great question, Connie. You know, we have a lot of vehicles coming through the Poconos all the time. We have 30 million guests visiting us. So sometimes that generates litter. And since 2018, we picked up 33,755 bags of litter and covered 1,600 square miles of road time and time again. So we just feel this is something we have to do responsibly to give back to our community. When is this actually happening? September 23rd from 9.30 to about 12. There's so many problems in this world today that people always say, we don't, I can't really do anything about it. This is something that everybody can participate in, do something about, or even if they just do one thing is, is dispose of their own trash and litter responsibly, then it won't end up on our roadway so that we have to pick it up. If people wanna know how they can get involved, what should we tell them? We hope that they'll visit us at PoconoMountains.com and that'll give them uh, the municipalities that are participating, how to sign up and where to get some flies. We're here at Kramer Sheds located in Tannersville. Joining me is Joe. Joe, we're here to talk about sheds. It's that time of year, people are outside. They need to have some storage on their property and you've got plenty of sheds. We have a, a ton of different options to meet everyone's needs between garages, uh, storage, if you need a little pool house, if you need a spot to put uh, your home office. We have something that can suit you 
or we can build something that'll help you uh, fill all your needs. So they come in all different sizes, correct? Correct, start around an eight by eight and they go up to as big as 28 by 36. So depending on how big, you know, how big your property is, what your exact needs are, we can build something that can fit all your needs or even beyond what you're, you're gonna need at that point in time. And you have lots of options to them too, for color and, and siding and roofing material. You get to pick the size of the shed, the style, the color. Most deliveries right now from order to uh, delivery can be done within 30 days. So you get to pick the color of the shed, the style of the shed, the size. You don't have to settle for what you, we have in inventory, even though we do have a lot that's readily available. You can build your shed to suit you and have it fairly quickly. Now people can uh, finance them, they can also rent to own. What would be like a typical price for a certain size? One of our, our best things is our rent to own program. It's a, a no credit check option that has you making monthly payments towards the purchase. So an average size shed is about a 10 by 12 to 10 by 16. You can get yourself a 10 by 16 shed for $200 a month, be making low monthly payments, have use of it on your property, and at the end of the term it's yours. Wow, that's fantastic. You know, if you have a need for a garage, you actually have sheds that are big enough to fit cars. We have a 12 by 24 and an average size garage. You know, you're talking for $400 a month. We have 24 by 24 two car garages that you can get into for about six to $700 a month. So there's really a lot of options there. And, or if you could go with a bigger garage and have some storage alongside of it. And also there's a lot of accessories for your property. You have things like dog houses, I see Adirondack chairs, plenty of things. We have everything for your patio, whether it be uh, you want a chair set for your patio, poly furniture has been the way to go for many years here now. You clean it off at the end of the season, you're done, it lasts a lifetime. We have pergolas and pavilions if you want some shade on your property or, or your patio or your deck. Uh, we have dog houses. A lot of, there's a lot of new rules regarding uh, animals and giving them shelter when they're outside. So we do have dog houses. So if your animal is outside, it gives them some shelter from uh, the elements. And Joe, you make it easy for people because you have delivery. You also take away old sheds too. Yes, we'll uh, take away old sheds. We move sheds. A lot of time people will, they bought a shed that was too small for them and they want to trade that in. We'll take that shed as well. They bought a shed and now they put in a pool on their property and they need it moved to another spot, we'll move that shed for them. Or they sold their house and they wanna take their shed with them. Now people can come out here to your show area and see everything that you have, but there's a lot more online too. We have three locations. So we do have a display lot up in Mount Pocono. We have another display lot in Bethlehem and we have our main office here in Tannersville. We have over a hundred sheds in stock. Every single one of them is listed online. So if you're looking for something right away, you can scroll through our website. We have a simple drop-down menu that'll bring up every size, every style that we have available. And if we don't have it, like I said, 30 days or less, we'll have your shed to you. That's fantastic. Okay, the uh, web address, phone number? Web address is www.kramersheds.com. Our phone number is 570-629-7099. Still ahead, Chef Nicola makes a harvest time sandwich. The heat got you beat? Don't sweat it. KMB Plumbing, Electrical, and HVAC offers air conditioning to fit any needs, including ductless. Call 570-460-0111. What keeps you cool but doesn't use ducts or windows? A ductless air conditioning system. Easy to install and zones for every room. Call KMB Plumbing, Electrical, and HVAC. 570-460-0111 to learn more. First Northern Bank and Trust is your local loan specialist for both personal and business needs. Our local decision makers offer fast approvals and customized financial solutions, helping you reach your goals. First Northern Bank and Trust combines friendly service with the latest technologies to make banking quick, easy, and convenient. We continue to grow in Carbon, Lehigh, Monroe, and Northampton counties. Serving you with 11 local branches, First Northern Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Kramer Sheds sells and installs beautiful outdoor items for your home and yard. We feature the largest choice of sheds, garages, cabanas, gazebos, play sets, outdoor furniture, animal shelters, and garbage bins. At Kramer Sheds, you can design your very own custom shed. You pick the size, siding, type, color, windows, doors, and more, or choose from one of our hundreds of pre-built sheds available. Stop by Kramer Sheds in Tannersville to see our inventory or online at kramersheds.com. I'm gonna do this um, this sandwich that I used to love it on that. I mean, it's a it was a grilled 
you know, the sandwiches with the grilled vegetables that, that we're gonna, we're gonna put them on right now. We do it here at Momentos. It's a simple lunch, quick, and uh, a great dish, great dish, absolutely. Absolutely, I wanna show this, at a little bit of onions, and we put them in a grill. I put the onions before anything else because it takes a little longer actually and need to cook a little bit more. Nice and dive. The grilled vegetables we always do it at the at the spot when the customer you know likes it, we have it at the spot. Asparagus usually when you grill them a little bit, try to don't cut them in in completely in half, but try to in cheese them this way. So the point is tender and cook fast but the drum in the bottom as continuing the body is a little bit, you know, a uh, little bit more thicker, tougher. And what you do to give that heat, to separate that heat, actually, you test and you just, you know, slice them a little bit uh, without, you know, separating from himself. This is one of the simple sandwiches that we serve every lunch. It goes very well. That's why, you know, it's, um, you know, it's very healthy. It remains simple. The beets, the red beets are already, and the golden beets are already, uh, we cook them before because it takes a long time for them to cook. And we take the grilled vegetables, we give them a little bit to this bread, a touch of a grill. We put this right there. The nice mozzarella, cut them nicely. Extra virgin olive oil, always, always. This is one heck of a sandwich, healthy sandwich. Very, very healthy. This is a great sandwich, it's amazing. Great sandwich, good pasta, and the momentos. Have a glass of wine, have a sandwich, have a great pasta, and good to go. And everything else is history. Thank you. Check our website. Ask Chef Nicola if you have any questions. In the best of my knowledge, I will answer. Well, George, that wraps up another great show. It sure does, Connie. Don't forget, if you want to see these videos again, just go to georgetv.com. Whatever you do, get out and enjoy the Pocono Mountains today.